All right, so what I'm gonna be going over today is a soup mug, which is essentially a bowl with a handle on it. Um, I use the same weight as a bowl, as a bowl that I, a cereal bowl, ramen bowl. So exactly two pounds. The only difference with a soup mug is that it's gonna be a little wider based and it's gonna be a little bit more vertical rather than slanted out. Uh, the reason why is because the soup mug, the reason a lot of people like these or enjoy these, buy these, make these, is because you can grab it out of the microwave no matter how hot the contents are inside. You can grab either by the two handles, which I'll show in a demonstration video later, or you can have one handle just like a mug on the side, which is why you want more of a vertical side to the bowl, which I'll show you in a minute, um, instead of a slanted bowl, because if you put a handle on a slanted one, uh, just it holds funny. So ergonomically, it's more beneficial to have a vertical side rather than a uh, 45 degree angle like normal. So as always, just center. Okay, and I'm gonna center kind of low on this. Because I want to open out a little bit wide. And as always, measure your bottoms. So I opened a little bit, take my needle tool, measure the bottom. I wanna make sure I get a nice deep foot on this so I can glaze the inside of the foot. So about a quarter inch, a little bit more than a quarter inch, not quite a half. Okay, patch that hole. So now I'm gonna open pretty wide and I want my wall to be almost a 90 degree wall instead of a normal concave or bold shape. And I want to open as wide, almost with any piece, you want to open as wide as you want the foot of your piece. This one's going to be a little bit of an exception as far as going out a little wider than what I actually want the foot to be. So now I'm compressing the bottom so you don't get an S crack at the bottom. Just slight pressure in and out very slowly. Also levels the floor of my pot. So if you notice your pot is like this, then you just level the floor. Very slowly moving in and out using the wheel speed. Okay, I'm going to open this just a little bit more. Okay, and again, that just left a little fingerprint. So you can leave those for style if you want to. But right now, I'm going to get rid of them until I pull the sides up. If you need to recenter, say it's wobbling a little bit, hold the sides. Hold the top, hold the inside. Doesn't matter, some, some of my students will use their thumb inside here. Um, if you can curve it a little bit, good, more power to you. Um, I have a tendency to, my thumb is so long that I get a bad angle on the clay and it catches and sometimes cuts a groove into the side of my clay. Okay, so now I'm ready to pull. When you pull, try not to go too, too fast. This. Yeah, sure you can do it, but it's gonna end up out here a little bit, but just take your time. Make sure your hand speed and wheel speed match each other. Okay, I'm just tapering in the top so I can get more of a volcano shape here. So my first pull, I'm gonna squeeze and go up. Press my lip a little bit. Oops, a little too slow. So you can see I'm just going straight up. It's just open pretty wide. So I'm gonna really, really press here. So I'm pressing between the two hands, getting in there, getting that clay. Then this hump, I'm just carrying that hump up. So my inside hand's just slightly higher than my outside because I had the floor of the clay there. pocket. If you ever get an air pocket, just poke a few holes in it. You'll squeeze it out in the next pull. Yep, just the one. So you can see my walls are completely vertical right now. I am going to round the bottom just slightly in just a second. I want to make sure I got every pull out of this that I can. Yeah, there's 
just a little clay at the top here. So kind of naturally I pulled that out just a little bit. At the bottom I, I kind of started that curved shape. It wasn't intentional but it happened. Kind of let the instincts kick in. So now I want to make sure I trim this bottom before I can't get to it. So I'm going to use my popsicle stick side of my modeling tool. Get in there, get a little piece. Then I take the blade side and just go slightly under. That just kind of gives my cutting wire a nice line to go under so I don't lift the wire or anything like that. So now this pull isn't really about pulling clay up. This pull is about shaping the inside. Whenever I make a bowl, I focus more on the inside than I do the outside. The outside, uh, the elegance or aesthetics come mostly from trimming. So I want to make sure that my hand slides nicely. And I'm just going to pull that little belly down here out. So it's nice and round. Okay. Another word for this or another name for this type of bowl would also be a cappuccino or a latte mug. I'm sure there are very uh, refined definitions for a cappuccino mug, so I don't know if I'm abiding by all rules, but it's a uh, cappuccino style, if you will. I'm going to pull this lip out just slightly. I might find that a lip that goes in doesn't pour quite as well. And I like a nice angle on the lip on the inside. So I take my smooth rib, okay? I angle it the way the clay is spinning, which is this way, because I don't want to go this way because it'll catch and ruin my pot. But I hold the outside of the lip, and it's very, very light pressure from the outside. And there's always little scraps from the uh, smooth rib, just little balls of clay on the inside. So I usually try to catch those with my finger, and then very, very lightly touch it up with a sponge. So the inside is nice and rounded, it's, it's wide at the bottom, but then it just slowly slopes up and it comes more vertical here. And yeah, I'll trim it in a little bit down here um, once I get it off the wheel and it dries to leather hard, but I want this nice vertical wall here to be able to put a handle on. Um, you can visualize just doing a regular handle, it'll work on here. Um, I may show the upside down handle, uh, which is my newest handle that I've been doing lately. And then also having two handles on each side, or if you will, on each side. So just two little coils or two coils flattened out. So that way you can pick it up out of the microwave when, even when it's hot and you don't have to worry about it. So that is the soup uh, simple bowl, but more vertical, um, less pulled out at that 45 degree angle or even further.